The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease that Thorne will continue to work on Katie to convince her to go after full legal custody of Will Thorne thinks Bill has been a terrible father and he wants nothing more than for Bill to be stripped of access to his son. Katie, however, has been hesitant about the possibility of seeking full custody, and she's been unsure about whether she really wants to start a war with Bill. Thorne and Katie will discuss the matter via phone and Thorne will try to persuade Katie to come around to his way of thinking. Bill's negligence is having an effect on Will, he'll say. You've got to take control of the situation, Katie. It looks like Katie will agree. Next, on B&B's new episode on, Brooke will find herself in a discussion about Will's custody with Ridge Thorne, and Quinn Brooke will stand up for Bill and defend his right to be a part of Will's life. Brooke's opinion will be unpopular within the group, as Ridge, Thorne, and Quinn badmouth Bill. Brooke will probably feel that Bill should be given a chance to become a good dad. She may note that Bill may not be a model father, and he's made a lot of mistakes, but the fact remains that he's Will's father and deserves access to his son. She might even point out that what Will really needs is for his family to come together, not try to tear each other apart via a custody war. Meanwhile, Hope will find herself alone with her ultrasound picture when Liam leaves her to go help Steffi with Kelly. During a time when she and Liam should be reveling in seeing their unborn baby for the first time, she'll be alone. This may be the beginning of Hope's realization that her dreams of how everything's going to work out with respect to their blended family may be at odds with reality. Finally, Steffi will offer Hope some kind words about motherhood. Hope, I've been on this journey, she'll say, and I can tell you there is so much joy ahead. While Hope will be no doubt happy with Steffi's kind words, she still may wonder just how much of the time she and her child will be the ones to be left alone while Liam tends to his other family. It sounds like a lot of B&B drama is heating up, so stay tuned. We'll give you updates as B&B news comes in. At Katie's, she and Bill discussed issues with Will. He will always be your son, but you have become like a stranger to him. He doesn't know what you want, Katie said. Bill was flustered, and Katie stressed that Will needed to know that his home with her was a safe place that he could never be forced out of. Bill accused Kate of exacerbating the situation with her new boyfriend who seemed to have had all the answers. Katie and Bill continued to argue, and Katie was disgusted. Go home, Bill, she said. She opened the door, but Bill was defiant. He reminded Katie how much he loved his son. Bill recalled that he was the only parent involved when Katie went through postpartum depression, she had deserted Will and Bill. He also pointed out that he was the one who was always there for Will when Katie decided to count on vodka to get her though the days. I took care of him. I changed him. I rocked him to sleep, Bill said. Bill acknowledged that Will wouldn't remember any of that, but if Katie pushed a custody issue, Will would hear about it, and so will the rest of the world. Katie looked emotional. At Forrester, Thorne met with Carter and asked about him handling the custody issues for Katie. Carter admitted that most of his experience was in corporate legal matters, but his brother had been adopted so he had a personal interest in taking care of kids. Thorne asked Carter to talk to Katie, and Carter looked surprised. At the doctor's office, Hope told the nurse that she was waiting for her husband. Liam entered and said he'd been in the waiting room. He looked at the nurse, and she looked at him. They recognized one another from Steffi's previous ultrasounds. The nurse left. Hope said that she was excited because she and Liam would get to see their baby. Liam joked that Hope might be upset if the baby looked like him rather than her. She hit him with her purse, and Liam said he'd been joking. Dr. Phillips, who had been Steffi's doctor, entered and gave Liam a strange look. Hope was flustered when she realized that Dr. Phillips had been Steffi's doctor. Liam said it was all right because Dr. Phillips was the best. Liam told the doctor that he knew it looked awkward, but they were all right with it. The doctor responded that her second specialty was to not ask too many personal questions. Liam said he realized the situation was unconventional, but all parties were okay with it and there was no shame and no secrets. The doctor approved and explained the procedure to Hope. During the ultrasound, Liam and Hope saw their baby. They held hands and Hope asked if the baby was okay. The doctor smiled and said it was a beautiful, healthy baby. Liam and Hope smiled. Later, Hope looked at the photo from the ultrasound and commented that she was looking at the face she would love her entire life, just like Liam's. 
she added that she always thought it was the mind that controlled the body, but the picture of their baby convinced her otherwise. I love you, Hope said. I love you, Liam replied. They kissed. I'm so excited, Hope said. At Spencer, Bill returned to his office after he'd visited with Katie. Justin was sitting at Bill's desk. Bill ordered him out of his chair, and Justin said he'd assumed that Bill was busy overcompensating for his neglect of Will. Bill said he didn't want to hear that word neglect. Bill lamented his argument with Katie regarding Will. Bill worried that Katie was going to want sole custody. Justin seemed surprised but said it wasn't the worst thing that could happen. Bill looked shocked. Justin reminded Bill that he would have full visitation and have the opportunity to be the cool parent while all the discipline and homework were left to mom. Bill thought about it for a minute and realized that's what had happened with his other sons. Justin joked that he could just give Will a house when he was old enough. A beach house, Bill said. He quickly said it hadn't worked out well for him so far. He didn't want to be that kind of father to Will. Justin noted that Bill didn't want to be a father like Bill's father had been. Bill agreed. Bill wanted to know if Justin had any experience in custody law, and Justin said he had very little. Bill said he expected Justin to convince Katie to drop any thoughts of sole custody long before it would ever get to court. Justin warned Bill that Bill didn't want to get into a courtroom based on his recent history. Bill countered that he had 8 to 10 judges on speed dial, but Justin argued that none of them were family law judges. If you get into court, there's a very strong chance that you'll lose. Justin said. Bill was adamant that no one could accuse him of neglecting his son. Bill told Justin he was a smart guy and a brilliant attorney. Bill expected him to handle this, but Justin asked what he wanted him to do. Bill told Justin to make Katie an offer she couldn't refuse. Justin replied that there was no such thing. Bill demanded that Justin meet with Katie and persuade her with passion and logic that there was no reason to get into the courtroom. Bill blamed Thorne freaking Forrester for the entire situation. Bill wanted Justin to let Katie know that it would help no one if she pursued sole custody. At Katie's, Thorne visited along with Carter. Thorne stressed that Katie had to create stability for a real. Thorne wanted Carter to evaluate the custody case. Katie defended Bill and said he may have fallen down as a father recently but he had done many things for Will in the past. She felt he was still learning. Thorne argued that it was no excuse. He only gets one childhood and he shouldn't have to spend it disappointed and afraid, Thorne said of Will. Carter discussed issues that Katie had with Bill. They used a calendar and specifically marked off times that Bill had missed dates with Will or cancelled or had simply been a no-show. Carter noted Bill had a lot of missed dates. Katie said she'd made a lot of mistakes in the past, as well. Katie admitted that Bill had pulled his weight when Katie hadn't. Thorne shared an emotional story about how he'd tortured himself for years after his daughter's mother had died. He worried that Bill's recklessness could impact Will forever. Katie wiped away tears. Carter offered to write the filing for Katie if it was what she really wanted. I have to think about it, Katie said. Thorne encouraged Katie to take control and make Bill answer for how he conducted himself as a father. The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease that Thorne will continue to work on Katie to convince her to go after full legal custody of Will Thorne thinks Bill has been a terrible father and he wants nothing more than for Bill to be stripped of access to his son. Katie, however, has been hesitant about the possibility of seeking full custody, and she's been unsure about whether